run. Just run. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to a bumper car boot haul. So, it did start off a little bit slow this morning, but I soon sort of dusted off the cobwebs and uh, really got into it. So, yeah, without without further ado, I'm going to get, get on with it because there's quite a lot to go through. I'm pretty happy with everything I purchased today. Now, that is a rarity because normally what happens is you at least get one dud, one kind of thing that you're like, mm, maybe I shouldn't have bought that, but... Honestly, today, I don't think there's anything. There's a couple of pieces of clothing that I'm just probably end up ending up not going to deal with or they're just going to sit there for months on, on end. But it's not really a dud purchase because they're still a decent purchase and I got them for a decent price. So, yeah, uh, pretty much everything I'm pretty happy with. So, yeah, some good items in here. So stick around till the end. Probably will be a longer video. Uh, so... I don't know, maybe you want to grab a cup of tea or maybe you want to watch it in installments. I don't, I don't know how you want to work it. Or you can sit down and, and binge watch it in one session, I suppose. But yeah, with that being said, let's get on with the first item. So, starting off nice and simple, this brand new and sealed Rave, Ravensburger puzzle, Haberdashery Heaven, 1,000 piece puzzle. I've picked these up so many times, not this specific one, but, you know, random ones in the Ravensburger range. And if they're brand new and sealed and I can get them for a quid or two, normally I pick them up now it's not to say that all of them do well they don't there are quite a lot of these ravensburg ones even if you pick them up sealed that aren't going to do particularly well but there's certain ones that do okay this one on amazon seems to be going for 29.99 at the moment the sales rank is a touch high it's about 180,000 in toys but i think come christmas obviously i'm going to put this in my lockup for christmas i think come christmas that sales rank will go down a little bit um or closer to one i should say um and then that will be a bit better because it'll be a bit bit of a faster seller um i got this in a bundle uh don't know what it cost me in the bundle i suppose if i worked it out it'd be less than a quid because there was over 10 items in that bundle but yeah this cost me uh yeah less than a quid in that bundle but the entire bundle cost me 10 pounds so yeah that's that one there anyway so next we have these this was my first purchase actually and as i say it took me a while to get into it i, I was kind of dilly dallying and looking at things but not really making a purchase but these are my first purchase i paid four pound for the entire set of these Disney Wonderful World of Knowledge, not Wonderful World of Reading. I don't know where I'm going to put this stuff now, but Disney Wonderful World of Knowledge book. So I'm just going to get them all up and give you a very brief look at them, not too much of a of an in-depth look or anything, but there's a couple there. Um, you can pause the video if you want to actually have a, a proper look at any of these uh, covers. Um, so yeah, there's a few more here. I've got 20 in total now. I don't know whether 20 is the full set. I think I've seen a few on completed and sold that are a set of 25. So there might be 25 as a full set. Um, but yeah, quite nice. Uh, obviously, they're quite well done, these books. There's a lot of work and time and effort gone into them. Uh, I don't know. I, I guess they were done at around the same time as The Wonderful World of Reading. And funnily enough, I've got some Wonderful World of Reading to show you in a minute. But yeah, they're probably around the same time as that. Um, but yeah, essentially, I got all these for four quid. They seem to go we're all over the place, really, but bundles of around 20. They've gone for as cheap as about 10 quid plus post, something like that. But I'm pretty sure I saw one that was like £25 plus post for 20 of them. So I think anywhere between 20 and 30 is a good bet. Obviously, at that price, I might have to wait a little while. But they should still sell reasonably quickly. So there's another couple there. There's absolutely loads of these. Um, I tell you what, getting all this stuff, I had to move all this stuff, as you will have seen in the vlog. Oh yeah, quick plug. If you haven't seen the car boot vlog, where I'm actually going round the car boot, this specific car boot, then go and check that out, because I'm guessing that'll have been... Uh, put up before this whole video it makes sense like chronological order to put that video up first um but yeah in that video i was carting it all to the car which was about five minute walk from the car boot because we had two cars at the time so essentially i was carting it all from one car to the other car and it was it, when i was carting these books there it was a right dilly dally and my god my arms were aching and stuff but yeah that's that one there anyway there's a load more over here uh, i'll just grab these quickly but yeah, 
So they seem to be a pretty good purchase these. I'm not going to show you all these to be honest because you've probably had enough of me messing around these books but yeah there's 20 of them anyway so quite a lot um and yeah should get pretty decent profit on those you know four quid into hopefully 25 maybe 30 quid um if i can push that so yeah great return there so next i suppose we'll do the bottles i've got a, a, a kind of a somewhat order to this video which is better because normally i'm not very conscientious i don't research things as well as i should do before the videos and it all goes to pot but this video will not go to pot we're doing it well right then so i'm not going to spend too much time on these bottles i got oh god what 12 12 bottles uh, some cod neck bottles, some just ordinary kind of shaped bottles without the cod neck, of course. There's no torpedo bottles or anything in here. Um, but essentially, these were all in the same bundle as the Ravensburger puzzle. So yeah, it was less than a pound an item in this bundle. And there's something else that I got from this bundle as well, because I kind of cheekily asked him if he could throw something else in. Uh, I, I love doing bundle deals. I, lo I just love it. Because um, you can get... So when you do a bundle deal at the car boot and, you know, you can work them down a bit, you can get so much stuff just from, you know, out of a five or a tenner. So yeah, 12 bottles. Generally... Certain cod neck bottles can do a little bit better than just like these more standard bottles here But most of the time these are going to be slow sellers There are certain cod neck bottles that will go fairly quick if you price them good and put your keywords in nicely But I generally go for anywhere between £10 and £15 So £9.95 plus postage all the way up to around £14.99 plus postage for certain bottles of course, there might be a really good bottle that blows that price out of the water and you end up pricing it for way above that. But just as a general scale, that's kind of my pricing. Um, so some of these I'll go as low as £10 plus postage on, others I might go as high as 14 99 So I'll just whip through these really quick. So got this one here. These will all be probably brewer's bottles or something. There might be a couple of mineral water ones or something like that. But they'll just be all, they're all embossed, of course, and they'll be all from different companies, probably all open, probably over more the northwest than anywhere else because that's the region I'm in. But there might be some from other places in the UK here as well. But yeah, that's that one there. There's plenty here, so I'm just going to whip through them because no one really wants me to go too in depth on these. Uh, if, you know, as I say, you can get these 50p a quid at a car boot, it's worth doing. Put your keywords in, that's quite a nice embossing there on that one. Um, but yeah, put your keywords in your titles. Get some good keywords in there and uh, you'll be laughing. And you can just sit, just sit them on a shelf and they'll go at some point. These are not going to be fast sellers, as I said, but they will go. Um, it's just kind of about having a stock of these things in and then, you know, they go after a while. That's quite a nice one there as well, actually, with that really nice, clear, big embossing on. Uh, we've got another one here. And then we've got loads on the desk here. That's quite nice. I don't know whether that's... I guess that frosted glass is purposefully done there. Uh, but that's really nice, actually, that one. Uh, C. Cobblies. I might have to look into that one, because that one might be a bit more valuable, actually. So, yeah, that's that one there. Um, we've got loads of them. There's one with... A, well, a few of these have a bit more dirt on. But some of these might have been dug up or something like that. Um, but, you know, you can clean them up fairly easily. And some people, if they're, you know, you don't want to clean them up massively because some people do like a little bit of, I suppose you could call it patina on glass bottles. I don't know if you could put, call it patina quite. Because patina is more of a word for copper and brass and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, there's that one there, which is a bit worn, to be honest, this one. Um, and then we've got this slightly smaller one. Oh, he also gave me a star. Oh, I think it's over there. He also gave bit of a stopper's broken off of this one or maybe it's another one but he gave me a longer stopper that me that's meant to go with one of these bottles uh, so yeah that's that one there and then that is this one here so yeah that's the bottles pretty good bundle that was also i may as well I i'm gonna go off my order slightly here but it's okay i'll only do it for this one item uh, and i'll show you the other item to this bundle because it just it just works out better that way so yeah, so here is the other item in that £10 bundle, and I think this is the best item out of the bundle, to be honest. It is quality assured with this very big, uh, lovely metal plaque in the middle of it. Well, it's kind of like this is on a plaque, to be honest. It's kind of a central piece to the plaque here. Uh, but yeah, Green King IPA. Obviously, it's not got tons of age to it or anything, but I just think it's quite cool, and it's something that a pub will love to hang, hang up if they do so serve this beer or this uh, Indian Pale Ale. So... 
yeah don't know quite what I'm gonna charge for this I've seen on eBay there's this part like as a pump as like a uh, the advertising part of the pump pump, you know where we put it on the front um, But there's not this with like on this plaque So I was thinking I've wrote down here anywhere between 30 and 40 I don't know whether that's going a bit high. I don't know whether I'm shooting a bit there But I'd rather shoot a bit higher than shoot myself in the foot and list it for 20 and it goes straight away So yeah, that's quite nice there Anyway, let me know what you think about that one because this is one of my favorite pieces from the haul It's not the most valuable piece from the haul, but it's just one of my favorites So yeah, really like that one there Right then, very quickly, we have an Atari, you can see in this corner here, Atari plug and play. Don't know whether there's meant to be some sort of sticker or button on there. It just looks like maybe there should be, and I've seen other ones on Complete and Sold that do have a sticker or button on there, so don't know. Maybe it meant it was meant to, maybe not. Now, I've wrote down here, because they're all over the place, there's some that have sold for less than a tenner. But where is it here? Where? Oh, I'm going, I'm going off my list again. Oh no, this video's going to pot again, damn it. Why do we always have to do this? Where is it now? Atari plug and play. We're just going to do it in a random order, I think, from now on. Ah, well. Uh, 10 to 15 pound I've put, because some of these variants have gone for about, about 15, others have gone for a tenner, others have gone for a little bit less than a tenner, so it's a little bit all over the place with price. Paid two quid for that, so, you know, I'm still fairly happy, even if I just get a tenner for it, I'm pretty happy. I picked this up because I had a bit of a weak moment. I mean, it's still going to get me some money back, to be honest, but... It was just a, it's just a very small Staffordshire figure, Lord Nelson one. I've had larger ones of these, not in this exact design, but with Lord Nelson. And even the larger ones tend to get 20, 25 quid, something like that. So I thought, is this one going to be around a tenner? But I thought, if it is a tenner, then I'll pay two quid for it. And, and it's just a nice little bread and butter item. And it seems to be that's going to be the most I'm going to get. But it was a bit of a weak moment. If it was a quid, I would have definitely picked it up. But I was I was deliberating on it for for a minute when when he said two quid. But I thought you know what I'm going to go for it because there's still going to be some money in it. So a little uh, Staffordshire Lord Nelson figure on there. Now I didn't check for cracks actually, but it do, yeah it doesn't look like it's got any. So pretty happy with that anyway. So at least not got any cracks. So yeah that's that one there. Next we got something that intrigued me on this stall. Uh, it's this a glass uh, B F Norge or no yeah I think that's how you pronounce it Norge design Eda Cristal. Um, and I'm guessing it's kind of this uh, Norway, uh, Get it? I guess it's glassware from Norway and it's probably something like a paperweight or a desk ornament or something like that anyway you can see it's got some sort of, I'm guessing that's a viking ship, I don't know I'm saying I'm guessing a lot because I really don't know, I just like the look of it I liked the look of it and I thought I'd pick it up it was two quid, I've seen a similar item on listed uh, from this same sort of uh, glass makers or company or whatever for 11 quid plus postage, I didn't see any that had sold so I'm guessing I'll just go similar to that, so maybe 12 99 plus postage something like that maybe a tenner plus post but i couldn't leave it behind i thought it was pretty decent she the lady who was selling this also had a is it an egg cruet set or one of those you know little set silver plate sets with four um egg things in and i know you can get some decent money for them i know you can get like 30 quid for them but because i've got 30 quid before in the past for them and it was an okay one it wasn't incredibly ornate or anything but she was charging a tenner for it and i thought mm. Should I buy it? Shouldn't I? Now I'm thinking, oh, you know what? A tenner. Because I think I could have probably got 30 quid for that. I'm thinking, mm, should I have? You know, but you know, it's gone now anyway, hasn't it? So there's nothing I can do. But it was quite a nice one, but it wasn't really ornate. You know, it wasn't really, really nice one. But you never know. I still probably could have got 30 for it. But that was on the same stall, and I picked that up for two quid. So, yeah, that's that one. So, I don't know uh, why I had an inc inclination to pick this up. But I have to say a massive thank you to George Ross because I guess subconsciously I must have been thinking, oh, George Ross sold that plush that looked similar to this one, you know, with the like handcuff type things here um, the other day, didn't he, for 450 quid. If you've not checked out George Ross's channel, I won't put a link below or anything, but I'll put something up, I think, on the screen. Um, and he basically sold a My Pet Monsters plush, was it, for 450 quid. But it didn't look too dissimilar from this. Uh, this isn't a My Pet Monsters, but the general theme of it with the handcuffs and stuff and the, the teeth didn't look too dissimilar. And so when I saw it, I, I must have thought, I, I must have been thinking something like that. 
and uh, I looked on the bottom and actually the stickers come off but it had a quid it had a pound on the bottom stick it up and I thought you know what I'm gonna go for it on that it does make sounds but I'm not gonna set it off it basically when you put the handcuffs together and then when you whip them apart again it makes sounds um, and this is a don't free Freddy plush toy and uh, I get it home and I think to myself yeah it's probably worth 20 quid something like that I thought to myself you know it's got sounds and everything I thought pretty decent it turns out this is worth a good bit of money. Um, so thank you very much, George, even though I know you didn't have this exact one, but you may have planted the thought of, in my mind, in my subconscious of, of looking for plushies like this. Um, but don't free Freddy, I've got it wrote down here. I'm gonna go for 50 to 60 quid on this. So from a quid, I'm very, very happy with that. And there's none sold, uh, sorry, there's none available in the UK. There's only ones available in the US. There's only ones sold in the US or, sorry, I shouldn't say US, but internationally. So, because there's none available in this country, I'm just going to go quite high at 50 or 60 quid. The other ones available are about 46, 50 quid uh, internationally. So, yeah, I think 50 or 60 quid's reasonable. Maybe even I could push 70. Um, but yeah, from a quid, really, really pleased with that one. So, that is a nice find of the day there. So next we have a Nerf gun, just pretty standard one, obviously this uh, stock shoulder thing here comes off uh, and you can sell these individually maybe for 9 quid, something like that, I used to get 9 quid for them. Then you've got a gun part here, I paid a quid for it which is really good, it's half expecting them to say oh I want a fiver for it but you know you've always got to ask or you never know, that's a good tip right there. Um, but yeah obviously I have to test it. Battery compartment, oh god, yeah, the screw doesn't, I don't know if you can see that there, but the screw doesn't look good, it doesn't look like that, battery compartment's been open in a while. I don't know how much the full gun goes for, but I'm kind of covered with the shoulder stock bit, and I'll have got my quid back anyway, just if it, even if I just take this off and sell this individually, if the gun's not working or something. But I don't know what the full gun goes for, maybe 12 to 15, I can't see it being much more than that, if any. So yeah, that's that one there anyway. So next, I, uh, you know what, I've always wanted to pick up Monster High stuff and it's not because I'm into dolls, nothing wrong with that, but it's not because I'm into dolls, um, it's just because, I don't know, everyone, else, oh, my battery's running low, one sec, um, everyone else seemed to have got them, Nick Kills has got them, you know, loads of people, I've seen loads of videos on it in the past where people have got them and uh, I've always wanted to pick them up and I'm not really picked up loads of them in the past. I picked up bits and bobs of them. Uh, but today I got a bundle of Monster High stuff, which I'll show you in a minute. But also I got this from a separate store for a pound. And I thought, well, it's a brand new doll. Obviously it's got some wear to the packaging and stuff, but it's never been out of the packaging. And I thought to myself, yeah, for a pound, there's gonna be some money in that. So where are we here? Let me check on my list. Monster High doll, the single one. 12 to 15 I'm gonna go on that, so I'm pretty happy. There's one on, but it's not, it's slight um, variant to this one, and it's on for like 19.99, but I think more realistically with this one, I'm gonna get around 12 to 15 quid, especially because the packaging's a little beat up, but from a pound, lovely bread and butter item. I'm sure it'll sell pretty fast with some good, uh, good uh, keywords in the title and also some good photos, so yeah, that's that one. What I'm gonna do now is just plug my phone in because the battery's running low, and then obviously we will continue with the haul. Right, so, fingers crossed my phone is actually charging up. I can't see because I'm still on the recording, so I don't know, I've plugged it in, but we'll have to hope that it keeps it keeps going. So, next I got these Wonderful World of Reading, which is obviously associated or affiliated with the Wonderful World of Knowledge books. I'm not gonna sell them together because they go better as separate bundles, of course, but um, they are, you know, a similar line. So I don't know how many is here, probably 15-ish, something like that, 15 books. And if you don't know, if you've not seen them before, these books, they used to be a bit better than they are now. I've actually wrote down, where is it here? Wonderful World Books. I've wrote down £10 for this bundle. Now, I might be able to stretch a little bit more than that. But from what I was seeing on Complete and Souls, these have come down in price a little bit. You used to be able to get a lot more than you can now. I mean, obviously, big bundles of them go better. I think 30 bucks or something like that go for go for better money. But yeah, 15 here, probably not a lot of money. As I say, I might be able to push a bit more than the £10. I might be being a bit unreasonable with it there. Obviously, I only had a quick look on Complete and Souls, and I've not sold these in a while. So I need to just do a bit more research for the purposes of before I actually list them. But yeah, maybe maybe I could push 15 on them, but 
from what I was seeing on solds, they don't seem to go for a lot of money anymore, these. So, yeah, that's those there anyway. So, I don't know what I said. I think I did, but I paid a quid for them. So, that was a nice little purchase there anyway. So, next, we have this Crystal Maze. The Crystal Maze board game. You can see it's got some whipping in it. Now, I picked this up thinking, oh, it's probably not going to be anything. Um, and I paid two quid for it, and I thought, you know, it'll be worth 12 quid or something like that, plus my postage, something like that, maybe a bit more. But um, apparently, this is, I don't, I, I don't know, but when I was looking on Complete and Souls, I think that this is an updated version of the vintage uh, Crystal Maze board game. I'd have to verify that, I'm not 100% sure on it, but I think that's what it is. And this seems to go brand new, well it's gone as high as 35 quid. Obviously I've got a rip in the seal, so I'm not going to charge that. But it's also gone for around 20 to 25 as well. So I'm thinking around 25 on that, plus my postage. So, yeah, from 2 quid, another great little buy there. It's been, uh, you know, today has been full of great little buys, to be honest. So, yeah, that's that one there anyway. You know, when I see a hat, I can't resist picking it up. And I knew instantly that this hat was of good quality. Uh, as soon as I saw it, I knew that yeah, I could just see... But it was made of good stuff. And you can see on the camera there, it's a good quality hat. And that is because, and I've had one of these hats before in the past. So when I saw the name, I knew I was buying it, really. Even if it was eight or nine quid. Don't know where you see that in there. Uh, actually, yeah, I don't quite think you're going to see it. But it's a Tilly hat. It says, uh, what does it say? Tilly winter hat in there. Um, and these go for good money. Even in used condition, these go for good money. It's got like a nice little buckle on there as well. Don't know whether it's unisex. I'm guessing it looks a bit more feminine to me. I don't know why I'm thinking that, but maybe it's unisex. But I'm thinking of going 35 to £40 pound for this hat. And I see no, no reason why I can't get it. There's one on sold similar to this one that's gone for £35. Pound. I did pay four quid for it, but I knew that it was a good hat. So I didn't mind paying four quid for it. So yeah, hopefully 35 to 40 quid. So again, another great little item there. Uh, I have to say, today has been a good little day for, for, for nice finds like this. So yeah, really, really happy with that one. This is just a book for myself. It's brand new and sealed. It's the Dictionary of Classic Mythology. I do want to do a bit of reading on classic mythology. I bet that if I scan this into Amazon, I'd probably be able to get 15 quid for it or something like that. Maybe even a bit more. So I paid 50p for it. So it'd probably be um, a decent little score anyway if I was reselling it. Uh, but I'm not. So um, yeah, that's just going to go in my little book collection or to read collection because it's massive at the moment. I've got so much to read and not enough time to read because... I can literally only fit in like half an hour a day and I mean obviously I'm doing a lot of work so I can't really, I wish I could, I really need to structure my day a bit better and, and try and read for, try and structure in an hour's worth of reading a day, that'd be really really good. Um, but yeah I also like to watch TV so I'm trying to get a bit of TV time and get a bit of reading time so maybe I need to sacrifice a bit of my TV time but yeah. That's that one there anyway, so nice little item for myself. So, next we've got a little tech deck bundle. It includes, I don't want these boards to fall off here, but it includes this tech deck carry case. You see these all the time, I've picked these up loads. Uh, with these, what, five or six boards? I don't know whether they're all branded tech deck, but certainly a couple of them are. So yeah, I mean, on its own, this case probably goes for about $14.99. That's what I used to get for it. With the boards, I might be able to charge a little bit more. I don't know, I might be able to charge $19.99, something like that but yeah it folds out basically and creates like a little ramp play set and it's quite a cool looking oh there we go one of the boards has fell anyway um but yeah it creates like a cool little um play set for i don't know like a teenager or something i suppose would use this so yeah that's that one there's also something else to the bundle so i'll get it up right now so we've also got these two ramps here. I don't know whether I'm going to sell these ramps with the tech deck carry case. Maybe I should. Maybe I should do a little bundle like that. Um, but yeah, these two ramps as well. If I did bundle them up, then I don't know what I would charge. Maybe I'd add an extra tenner onto it. Maybe a tenner's uh, about right to add on to the bundle if I include these. But yeah, there's those as well. So these that cost me two quid. These cost me... What was, was it five quid... Oh no, wait, was it three quid for the lot? 
yeah, he said two quid for that and then two quid for these. So it would have been four quid. And I said, would you do three quid? So it was actually less than I thought. I thought it might have been five of it it cost me. But no, it was three quid. So pretty happy with that. So, uh, yeah, you could either say these cost me two quid, that cost me one quid, or that cost me one quid, these cost me two quid, whichever way you want to work it, it's still the same. So, yeah, that's those anyway. So, couple of bits of clothing. Now, the lady was selling these for a pound each, so I couldn't really complain. And this is of nice quality. It's a lovely sort of red... Um, it's sort of like a jumper, I suppose, but I'm trying to work out the style of the jumper, you know, that style there at the top um, with that neckline, but I'm not sure of the style. I'm not a clothing seller, am I, so can't really blame myself for not knowing it. Um, polo, what is that? Polo Essin or something. But she's, I asked her, is this the same brand as Ralph Lauren? Um, and she said yes, so I don't know. I'm guessing it's real, it's genuine, because it feels very good quality, but I don't know, I'll have to maybe ask someone about that. I've, I've got a lot of resellers who I know who do clothing, so I'm sure they wouldn't mind giving me a bit of help with that. But yeah, pound for that one. I'm guessing that if this is real and genuine, and it is Ralph Lauren, if that's the same brand kind of thing, it would be about 25, 30 quid, maybe even a little bit more, I don't know, but yeah, so... Pretty happy with that one anyway from a quid. Minimum, I'm going to be getting, it's like 20 quid. So, yeah. Um, as I say, obviously it does depend on whether it's genuine and everything. But that's that one there anyway. And then again, for a pound, I've got this purple checked, what, is it checked? Oh no, it's dog tooth. Purple dog tooth. Uh, polo Ralph Lauren shirt. Again, quite a nice one. Uh, size is large, is it? Well, it's 42. Um, yeah, it's 42. So... Yeah, I don't know, maybe medium to large, medium to large, something like that. Um, and again, a quid, don't know what I would charge for it. I'm guessing maybe 25, something like that. Maybe I could get a bit more for it, but as I say, I don't really do clothing, so I don't really know the market, and I couldn't be bothered researching it, because I never find, whenever I do clothing research, I've expressed this before, actually, I never seem to find the exact clothing item. I don't know whether there's a trick for doing that or anything, but I never find it. So I'm always searching forever and I can't find the exact shirt that I'm looking for. So yeah, I don't know, but probably around 25, something like that. So from a quid again, good little bit of money there. Once I get around to dealing with it, it'll just end up going in my pile of shame. I'm not gonna lie. It'll go in my pile of shame for six months and then I'll end up having to deal with it at some point because I'll force myself to. But you know, that's why I shouldn't pick up clothing, but I still do, don't I? Anyway, on to the next stuff. So, next, little uh, inbox Nerf gun. It's got a couple of batteries strapped to it there. I don't think they came with it originally, but uh, this was in a Monster High bundle. I think I mentioned earlier on that I'm going to show you a, a Monster High bundle. And that was for £11. So I got this gun and then a load of Monster High stuff, which I'll show you in a second, um, for 11 quid. This is roughly about a tenner on eBay. That seems to be top end, to be honest, for this gun. So I'm going to list that for a tenner. And, uh, and that'll be that really and that'll just help pay for that bundle and then the other Monster High stuff will be essentially profit on top so yeah pretty happy with that one there so I may as well do this one before we get into the Monster High so I'm going to roll back a little bit so hopefully you can see it a little bit better uh, ooh, where am I now right so it's a really big uh, and very very thick and heavy and warm uh, Land Rover uh, yeah Land Rover coat and it's something to do with a promotional event. Can you see that there? New Range... Is it... Oh, Range Rover. Not Well, it is Land Rover anyway, isn't it? But New Range Rover. Uh, international Press Launch. Scottish Highlands 2002. Now, that, to me, screams money. I don't know whether it screams money to any other experienced resellers out there. But that, to me, screams money. New Range Rover... International press, press launch, Scottish Highlands 2002 Land Rover XXL. Lovely big coat, lovely and thick, lovely and warm. Yeah, it screams money to me. Now, I've looked on Complete Insult. I only did a little bit of research because I really did need to get this video recorded, so I couldn't spend a lot of time in depth doing research or anything. But it screams money to me, that. And I really don't know what to price it at. It could be over 100 quid, this jacket quite comfortably minimum absolute minimum just for what it is just a jacket just a thick warm nice comfortable jacket for in winter and you know with the Land Rover name on it's gonna be 40 or 50 quid minimum absolute minimum but because of that you know international press launch and I just think that 
it could be quite a bit of money. So I paid a tenner for it. I did pay, I, well, I say pay up. I was happy to pay a tenner because of what it is and because of the name and everything. Um, and I knew I was safe even at a tenner. But yeah, it could be some really good money this. So I need to do a bit more research into it. If anyone out there has had a similar one, please do get in touch in the comments down below, over on my Instagram, whatever. Um, and you know, your help with research, your pricing or whatever would be massively appreciated. Again, I don't really do clothing. I feel a bit more comfortable with coats though. So I do generally pick up a few coats here and there. But yeah, could be a nice little score that one. It could be three figures from uh, you know a £10 investment. So yeah, really, really happy with that one. So on another stall, again for £2 actually, oddly enough, I got another tack deck thing. This one didn't come with any uh, boards though. What I might do actually is split off a few of them boards to this one and maybe sell it like that. I'm not sure. Um, I couldn't end up getting it back in its case properly while I was at the stall so that's why it's kind of slightly out of its case but yeah two pound again hopefully into 15 quid something like that so yeah can't really complain with that one nice little score there so next we've got the bundle of monster high dolls that I was talking about that was uh, with that nerf gun that box nerf gun that I showed you so I've got a load of different dolls here I'm not gonna spend much time looking at these but you know in accessories and stuff I think it was about eight dolls or something eight nine dolls um loads of different variants of them of course we've got one without a hair there i don't know what's going on there but obviously there might be some hair somewhere i'm not sure um well yeah loads of different variants of them and there's loads of accessories and stuff as i mentioned i'll show you the accessories in a sec i don't know whether that's monster high i don't think no i think that's brats actually um but then we've got another one there and I don't know whether these Monster High do as well as they used to. I know there was a time where they were really hot and you could get, you could just whack any of these things on auction and they just go up to the moon. It was crazy. Um, and then I've got a load of accessories in here. Don't know quite whether you're going to see that. There's loads of accessories in there. I'm just going to move these back onto the table and then get out the main part of the bundle. So we've got this kind of dis doll display thing that winds around like that. And yeah, I suppose you display your dolls on it and stuff and maybe have like a fashion parade or something, I'm not sure. Um, but the main thing of that was this Monster High, it's quite big, uh, plastic school I'm guessing this is. It's also got loads of accessories over there that, is just, that have just fallen everywhere. I'll give you a quick look at a few of them in a sec. Um, but yeah, I'm guessing this folds out or something a little bit as well, but I'm not going to do that because... I don't know how, and I'll probably end up messing it up and stuff. Uh, yeah, it do, yeah, it looks like it does fold out, and it looks like it actually gets pretty big. Now, I've not typed in Monster High, because I didn't actually realise this was a high school, because when I was doing my research, this was still in the bag, and I didn't get it out. Um, so it may well be that my pricing might be a little bit off here. But I've wrote down, where is it? Monster High bundle, 40 to £50. Pound. It might be more than that now with the Monster High because this is Monster High, might be a little bit less, but I don't think it is going to be less. I mean, if anything, it's going to be a bit more. Um, but yeah, so there's that there. I'll get these accessories. So we've got the Monster High, which goes on top of the high school, I think. Um, and then we've got accessories like little speaker things there. Um, we've got bits and bobs of stairs that I guess just go with the, the high school. Um, and yeah, we've got all sorts all sorts of bits and bobs and panels and stuff and things that make other things up, maybe things that make tables up and stuff. Um, yeah, we've got some sort of school desk there. We've got bits and bobs. There's not tons of accessories. There's not tons and tons. We've got a, a hat stand or something there. Um, as I say, there's not tons and tons of accessories, but there's bits and bobs around, so I'm sure I'll be able to make up some sort of nice little bundle with these. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, what else have we got here? Yeah, just bits and bobs of accessories, really. I don't know. I'm guessing maybe... I suppose maybe they go on the walls of the school or something to make it look a bit more monstery. I'm not. I'm really not sure. Obviously, it's outside my comfort zone in terms of... You know, I never played with Monster High Dolls or anything. The closest I got to my feminine side when I was about 
I don't know, eight or nine, was for whatever reason I had a weird desire to get a pet, not a pet unicorn, but a a soft plush unicorn. Um, I don't know why that was, but I just thought, oh yeah, I want a plush unicorn, but I never went into dolls and all the rest of it, so it's a bit outside my comfort zone. Um, but yeah, I don't know, um, possibly 40 or 50, possibly a bit more, but from what I can see on Complete and Sold, 40 or 50 is pretty reasonable for the amount of Monster High stuff I've got there. So, shall we do a quick total up? Uh, we're now getting on 40 minutes on this video. Obviously, it'll be a bit shorter for you guys because I'll cut it down a little bit. Um, but yeah, so I spent in total... What, have, I, have I made sure that I've... Uh, yeah, I think it is... Uh, in total, I spent 60 quid. I'm going to have to double check that because I think that I might have messed up with the tech deck and stuff. You know, because I was thinking that I had spent 5 quid on it and then maybe I'd only spent 3. So... It could be a little bit less than that, right? Would that be right? Yeah, it could be a little bit less than that, but 60 quid. Anyway, that's what I've got wrote down here, total spend. If anything, it's only going to be a couple of quid either side, so it's not going to be a major cost either side. B4, uh, fees and everything, just in total sales value without postage. Obviously, postage is extra on top that I'm charging. I've got a figure of £433 that I'm going to get back. Now, that is going for minimum. So the minimum on, on everything, except the Monster High bundle, which for whatever reason I included as 50 quid, so I went high on that one. But yeah, 433. The Land Rover jacket I, I included in that total as just £40. I think I can get more than that. So that figure of 433, if I can get top end for a lot of its stuff, could be well over 500 quid. So potentially top end... I've got close to maybe, you know, 550, 600 from a 60 quid investment. So 10 times the money, sales value. Just remember that's sales value. That's not profit, none of that sort of stuff. But potentially 10 times my value. Sales, minimum, what, like seven times my value in sales? And of course, there's going to be a fantastic net profit on that anyway. Uh, that's just deducible from uh, from the figures that I've shown you there, really. I don't know quite how much my profit would be net on that, but it's going to be, what, three, four times my money, something like that. So it's going to be pretty decent. So yeah, um, that is the whole video. It was a long one, but it was a good one. It was a solid day today. Uh, I know that a lot of people will be wanting to see a car boot haul on the channel because I don't do car boots that often anymore. And it's not because I don't enjoy them particularly. It's just because a lot of the time I can't be bothered getting up or I get a lot of my stock from auction. And for me, it just is more time efficient to get stock from auction. I mean, today, for example, just very quickly, I'll end on this, um, you know, I'm spent, I've spent literally the full day, we're now on three o'clock, no sorry, four o'clock, it's quarter to four now, my god, quarter to four, from six o'clock to quarter to four, I've spent doing this car boot, whether it be the haul, whether it be actually being down there, setting up, packing up, going round, carting things to the car, everything, doing research for these videos, etc, filming the vlog, all, all this sort of stuff. So, you know, that's, that's quite a lot of time, and I've not even got to list in any of this stuff yet, I've not got to processing it really or anything, so that's just doing the YouTube side of it and the actual sourcing side of it, so it's a huge, uh, I mean, of course today actually, it was, yeah, to be fair, today we were actually selling at the car boot, so it took a lot longer. If I wasn't selling at the car boot, it would be a bit shorter, actually, in fairness. I'm, I'm forgetting that. But still, I mean, it can take quite a lot out of my day. It can still take till 1 or 2 o'clock, even if I'm not selling at the car boot, until I've done the video, until I've sorted it all out, etc., before I get to, to photograph it or list it. So it can still take quite a lot of time compared to an auction where, yes, it takes maybe a day, but I've got way more stock than, way more stock than even this, to be honest. But still, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I will leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please do put a like on it. If you haven't already, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. I do haul videos, reseller haul videos, sales updates, vlogs, charity shop trips, the odd, as I say, the odd occasional car boot trip. Loads of different stuff, really. And just random videos as well pertaining to reselling. So, I will see you there. I will leave it there, guys. And I will see you soon. So, I will see you in the next one.